It's always nice to try on the latest na Nova series. And this one is the latest na Nova 10 Pro na nandito sa ating table. I know for sure that mga Nova na cameras is definitely best for vlogging, for photography. And the Huawei Nova 10 Pro isn't anything less but great camera. So tara, buksan natin. Hi guys, it's me Richman of Gadget Sidekick and welcome back to my channel. So as usual, the Huawei Nova 10 Pro sports a pretty white box and it's really simple as always and everything you can download it on the app gallery. And opening the box, kita natin that the packaging is very neat. So this is the phone ni Huawei Nova and I have here is the starry silver color. And Opening this one, we can see that the color is definitely nice and one of its kind. So it's a mixture between silver and gold emblem. And ang kanyang camera is called the Star Orbit Ring. It looks kind of different, a mixture of silver and gold and black. But it's really one of a kind and I kind of like it dahil sa kanyang unique design. It's definitely one for the Nova series and I can say na having this curved back and yung kanyang uh, matte finish dito sa likod. And medyo starry starry finish pag inilawan mo. I think the Huawei Nova 10 Pro is definitely one of the more premium na upper mid-ranger phones na tatang kiliking ko for this year 2022. Other stuffs inside the box. SIM ejector tool. Jelly case na transparent. And of course, pag kinapit natin ang kanyang case, I can definitely say na it's as good as wala siyang suot. And kitang-kita and retain ang kanyang design dito sa case na ito. Definitely good. It also comes with a Type A to Type C cable as well as a 100 watts na Huawei Super Charge. So this time around, it's a standard na plug. Hindi siya tatlong paa. So definitely hindi ko na kailangan bumig ng adapter. Good job. So much for the unboxing. So, focus muna tayo sa design ng phone na ito. Si Huawei Nova 10 Pro is having a curved back design as well a curved screen. Now, uh, pag boot up natin, we, ca we can see that there's two camera modules here up front. At the back, we have the 50MP na triple camera setup inside its star orbit ring. And kita natin ang kanyang power button, meron siyang red na line giving you a little bit more accent para gumanda ang itsura ng yung phone. Normally, we see this on gaming phones. On top, we have the noise cancelling mic and the loudspeaker. Sa ilalim kita natin, there's the loudspeaker, the Type-C port, the microphone in, and of course, the SIM tray. So pag sinundod natin ang SIM tray, there's two nano SIM na kaya niyang isupport. Well, walang micro SD expansion. On the other side, it's pretty plain. Now, one thing that I like dito sa Huawei Nova 10 Pro is quite slim ang kanyang bezel. Ang kanyang side is curved and ang kanyang top is quite slim ang kanyang bezel. And probably for me, the only thing na medyo sagabal dito sa kanyang screen is ang kanyang AKA Dynamic Island na dual camera setup dito sa harap. But overall, the screen is pretty nice. Ang ganda ng kanyang display dahil this one has a OLED display. 6.78 inch na display up to 120Hz of screen refresh rate together with a 300Hz not touch sampling rate. It, it can reproduce up to 1.07 billion colors with P3 white gamut na support. And ang taas ng kanyang screen to body ratio at around 92%, giving you probably the, one of the best experience while watching your favorite movies and videos here sa phone na ito. Now, itong phone na ito, it has a P3 white color gamut. It means ang display na ito can bring five times better color precision and ang kanyang color gamut is increased by 25%. And makikita naman natin dito when you watch videos and when you check your photos here, para mas true to life ang mga photos na nakita mo dito and probably mas true to life ang mga pinapanood mo videos dito on this phone, giving you that better experience when you're looking for a total entertainment package. So you can calibrate dito sa kanyang display settings, ang kanyang color mode and temperature. Pwede mo iset sa vivid ang kanyang color mode para giving you that better experience when you're watching videos and of course, checking your photos dito sa phone na ito. And while I was watching some videos dito sa Netflix and sa YouTube, I was able to say na it does matter. Pinagkumpara ko ang normal mode and ang kanyang vivid mode. Yung vivid mode gives me that better saturated experience na mas maganda ang resolution ng mga pinapanood ko. Giving me that better experience 
while on the go, uh, watching it on the airplane, watching it on inside the bus, or probably watching it while waiting for my next meeting. It's definitely a game changer ang display nito phone na ito. And meron siya dito sa Huawei Nova 10 Pro. Ang phone na ito meron siyang stereo speaker. And of course, gusto natin pakinggan ang sounds being calibrated by Huawei. And I know that Huawei has been manufacturing really great sounds. Especially sa kanya mga buds like this one. This is being tuned with Juvia And if you don't like the loudspeaker, medyo gusto mo may kunting privacy, I would highly suggest that you carry yourself this one, si Huawei FreeBuds Pro 2. And it's definitely a blast using this one. And na-review na natin to sa ating channel. I definitely give these buds a thumbs up. And you can check the link up there for the full review of the Huawei FreeBuds Pro 2. Now, pakinggan natin ang kanyang sounds. Well, for me, ang kanyang sounds is quite good and of course, it can fill in my room here na roughly nasa 10 square meter. Quite loud ang kanyang sound when watching videos and listening to Spotify and even gaming. Now, speaking about gaming, tinay natin maglaro ng Call of Duty Mobile dito sa phone na ito. I was able to kick all the settings to the maximum. Now, speaking of gaming, nilaro natin Call of Duty Mobile dito sa phone na ito. I was able to enjoy my game putting all the settings to high and I was able to finish the game roughly mga 2 hours and I'm still loving it dahil ang sarap maglaro dito sa phone na ito and ang kanyang 300Hz sa touch sampling rate is definitely kicking in dahil sobrang responsive ang kanyang mga touch sa screen especially when yung dalagang game time decision there are times na some other smartphones na medyo sumasablay kunti sa mga touch response dahil na kung medyo crunch time na nilaro mo sa Call of Duty Mobile but this one sobrang smooth sobrang responsive ang screen na ito giving me probably the best experience one of the best experience sa mid-range category for uh, smartphone and grabe ang kanyang color reproduction dito was really great and I really have a blast playing this game wala ko na feel halos na frame drops and very minimal naman ang lags dito and definitely, you should try this one on gaming. Kayang kaya niya, no doubt. Now guys, I was able to download all of my favorite apps here sa App Gallery. All you need to do is just go inside the App Gallery. Then of course, type in your favorite apps like Facebook. Lahat yan, it's very easy to install. Just click install or ako kasi update kasi naka-install na siya. And you instantly may install na siya at the single touch, walang problema, no? And of course, there are other mga recommended app na dito na pwede mo i-search din. Like, some of the more frequently used, like Grab, i-install mo na siya, just single click. Si Gcast, just single click install. Shopee, ganito kabilis lang. As long as fast ang internet nyo, downloading all of these apps is definitely easy and very accessible. So yun, nakita natin si Grab na install na all you need to do is just probably exit this one and kita natin na si Grab, Gcash, and of course si Shopee are all installed in just a single click. Passing through my favorite social media apps like TikTok, Facebook, Twitter, and of course Instagram is definitely smooth dahil sa kanyang 120Hz of screen refresh rate. It's very fast and very buttery smooth ang response ng aking screen. Given that this is being enhanced by the Touch Turbo 2.0, every single touch dito is definitely very responsive and halos wala na feel na lag dito sa screen na ito. By the way guys, probably nagtataka kayo dito sa phone na ito na nakatabi. So it has been here all along sa review natin and of course, this one, the Huawei Nova 10 SE is also available for purchase. And this one definitely is stunning din ang kanyang design and I love it dahil medyo mala iPhone ang kanyang feel and flat na flat ang kanyang likod, flat na flat ang kanyang side and of course the camera na is also a performer. And also I love the screen display dito sa phone na ito, giving me that Nova 10 feel dito sa phone na ito. And also the Nova 10 is available, I hope to review it probably on another video. Now, the phone na ito comes with a 4,500 mAh of battery and si Huawei giving this a 100 watts na supercharged support and I can see na charging this phone from 10 to 100 takes me only just roughly 23 to 24 minutes depende naman siya 
sa condition. But roughly, nandun lang siya sa minutes na yun. It is quite fast. And I love it dahil after mo mag-shower, it's almost done na yun. Charging or probably done. Kasi normally, pag ako mag-shower, nasa 20 minutes maybe or somewhere there. So paglabas, almost full na ang aking charging. And kung ting kain na breakfast, my phone is ready to go. And ang battery endurance na itong phone na ito is probably one of the more promising na nilabas ni Huawei. This one can last you for 14 hours of screen on time based dito sa battery stress test ni PC Mark. And using on a day-to-day -day basis and putting this one on 120Hz and well, 50% brightness, I was able to last for a whole day without a problem on daily normal usage like social media, using it for photography, using it for light gaming, watching videos, and probably some Zoom video calls. I can say na kaya-kaya na magtagal ng one full day, no problem. And one good thing nito sa processor nitong phone na ito, it is a Qualcomm Snapdragon na 778G. And this one having a score of 507,000 points sa Antutu benchmark. I can say na definitely this is one of the processor na very efficient pagdating sa battery consumption. It can give you Roughly, ako estimate ko lang, a day and a half, kain kain niya. Or probably kung sobrang katipid mo gamit, two days. Wala problema dito sa processor na ito. And definitely, I love it because sobrang kunat ng kanyang battery. And of course, multitasking is definitely a breeze dito sa phone na ito. And of course, right now, we'll be focusing ourselves on the Star Orbit Ring na triple camera setup at the back. And it has a 50MP na ultra vision photography na 1.8 aperture na main camera lens supported with a 8MP na ultra wide macro camera and of course, a 2MP na depth sensor. And probably the highlight dito sa phone na ito is that yung kanyang AKA Dynamic Island na front-facing camera ay may dalawang lens. It has a 60MP na ultra-wide autofocus camera with an aperture of 2.4 and a 8MP na portrait close-up camera na aperture 2.2. Now, there's a lot of things that pwede natin magawa dito sa front camera niya. And what I like about this one is that meron siyang instant autofocus with quad face detection. Sobrang bilis niya guys mag-react, lalo na kung magtitake ng selfie photos. Especially that front SLR level bokeh, ang ganda ng kanyang mga bokeh shots sa kanyang front camera. Lalo na kung when you're taking it outdoor condition and indoor condition sa mga low light, I was blown away with all of its uh, fast focusing and bokeh shots. Sobrang ganda. And itong Huawei Nova 10 Pro was able to take my front-facing camera photography to a whole new level. Probably this is the first time that I'll say that this is the best selfie camera ever na na-try ko on a smartphone. And it's present here sa Huawei Nova 10 Pro and I really love it taking all of those selfie shots, taking all of those front-facing videos. There's a lot of things that you can do when you're a vlogger. Now, kind of front-facing camera can give you a best of 4K 30fps the resolution and there's another thing that you can do here sa vlog mode niya. Ang dami mong pwedeng gamitin dito. So guys, right now, try natin ang vlog mode dito sa Huawei Nova 10 Pro. And pag swipe up natin, kita natin, there's a lot of mode na pwede natin kalikutin. Rear, front, front rear, rear rear, front front, and rear rear. So, what's nice about this one is pwede simultaneous ang recording. Hindi mo kailangan mag-pause while recording. So, how about let's simply try it. So guys, right now, try natin dito sa mga machines itong vlog mode ni Huawei Nova 10 Pro. So right now, I'm recording using the front camera and quickly, so switch natin para makita natin what's behind yung phone natin. So kita natin, there's a lot of uh, claw machines. My Toy Story, my Gotcha, my Fantasy World. So one of them, kita try natin, probably I'll try one of these. And let's see. So switching over the camera to para makita nyo ano nangyayari dito sa harapan ko and of course sa likuran ko. So that's the essence nitong front rear sinasabay natin. No? So makita natin. So let's just simply try to drop a coin dito. Okay, so like that. Okay, so kita natin may one na siya. So right now, switch ulit tayo ng camera para makita natin no? yung zoom in view nitong claw sa aking claw machine. So, let me get a hang of it. So, yan. Okay. So, gagalaw natin. So, yan. So, feeling ko na halos sakto na ito. 
Then uh, press the button here. Okay. So, sayang wala. Wala tayo nakuha. So, to the front front, para makita nyo, ay, grabe, sayang yung 1 times 5 pesos natin. So, how about this other one? Front rear naman. I think this view is definitely more captivating. Dahil mas zoom ang view natin dito. And kita mo ang aking nakaprap dito sa aking muka. So, let's try another one. Okay, so, drop lang tayo. And let's see kung makachamba ulit tayo. Okay, so, position ulit natin. Let's see kung maka, makaisa tayo ulit right now. Okay, so, here goes. Ay, nako, here we go again. Wala na naman, supply na naman. So, uh, your camera din dito na pwede natin gamitin. It's just simply the reverse of what you see kanina. And front front camera is simply looking like this. Zoom in sa uh, main camera and yung sa, sa loob, yung small box is simply my whole face. So, that's the vlog mode of the Huawei Nova 10 Pro. So guys, meron siyang story creator mode dito sa Huawei Nova 10 Pro. And gusto natin i-try and makita natin no, kung anong kalalabasan na itong story creator mode na ito. Let's go! Si, bu siyang tso guo yan jian chana he shen hou shun jian de ni men. Si wang liu tang de shi jian do ke yi bei wan zheng ji lu. Si, chuan so guo cheng shi sen lin, kan guo yuan fang da hai de ni men. So yu zou guo de feng jing do xu yao bei qing xi shou cang. Now, the front camera also can support 4K ultra wide front video recording, and also you can zoom in, zoom out, like said ni Jesse. Dito sa front camera niya, I was really surprised and blown away with its capability of using the wide camera lens up to five times zoom. And kita ang critters ng aking mukha. So check this sample video. So guys, right now we're vlog tayo using the Huawei Nova 10 Pro. And using the selfie camera, there's a lot of function added to this phone. So meron tayong wide angle lens like this one, which is you can capture wider uh, scope dito sa background mo, or you can just simply use the normal mode, or you can even use the zoom mode up to two times zoom. So meaning, uh, hindi mo na kailangan ano no? ilapit sobra-sobra ang yung mukha. Just the same distance, you can get as close as possible and probably uh, up to 5x pa kitang kita ang ating mata. No? So, kita natin na medyo kulang tayo sa tulog. So, this is how it feels like when you're vlogging using this phone. And I believe, ah, for me, probably this is the best Nova series ever na selfie camera. It really is nice. I believe that ang ganda nito for vlogging. Minsan lang ako mag-highlight ng sobra-sobra sa front camera and I can say that this is one of my early favorites for this year to be the front-facing camera of the year 2022. And for me, ah, front runner na front runner to dahil sa kanyang capability to give me all of those versatile shots, all of that crazy videos that it can take using the front-facing camera. And using the rear camera, meron siya 50MP na RYYB na Ultra Vision Photography System giving you all of those rich photos that you can possibly take using the rear camera. And on outdoors, I can say na definitely nice and rich amount of photos. I was able to take in some really nice shot, be it bokeh shot or mga normal shot sa outdoor. Definitely out of the question, sobrang ganda. Taking in some low light photos, equally good ang mga photos na nakuha natin especially when it turns a little bit dark using the super light mode aba dito nagperform ng gusto ang camera na ito dahil i was able to take in some of these crazy shots sa outdoors and it's really raining hard that time i was able to snap in some of these shots outdoors na low light talaga medyo madilim and i was able to capture these moments na really really rare Taking in some photos dito na flowers, na mga food. The flowers, I can say it looks quite lovely. And some of the food that I've taken looks a lot yummier than probably in actual person. Probably na enhance niya ng kunti ang yung colors ng food, making it look yummier than what you see in actual. So, 
it's a really great enhancement na kaya na itong phone na ito. Now, using the rear camera for vlogging, I can say ang ganda rin niya, ang ganda ng color production and recording a 4K 30fps using just my bare hand to pan around. And I can say the video is quite stable thanks to the image stabilization that's present inside this camera. Honestly guys, wala pa ako idea sa presyo ng phone na ito. I was able to have this one way ahead of the product launch na itong Huawei Nova 10 series. And the Nova 10 Pro definitely just blow me away dahil sa ganda ng kanyang screen, ang ganda ng kanyang front-facing camera, and this one can definitely perform during gaming. Plus, ang kanyang screen is definitely ang ganda. Promise. Now, would I recommend this one, the Huawei Nova 10 Pro? Definitely, it's a yes, especially when you love photography and especially when you love making TikTok videos. Ang kanya 60MP front camera definitely will let you stand out, especially when you're taking those TikTok videos. And sa dami ng crazy ideas sa kanya front-facing camera, I'm sure na it will take your vlogging experience to a whole new level. Now, guys, if you want me to make a tutorial on how to put Google Play Store here, sa Huawei Nova 10 Pro and probably any Huawei device na ginagamit din nyo, comment on the comment section below para gawa natin a full tutorial on how to install Google Play Store on your Huawei devices. And guys, if you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and of course, click that bell icon para hindi nyo mamiss ang mga future uploads dito sa aking channel. And so, ako pala si Richmond and you're watching Gadget Sidekick. Wata!